Welcome to the NFL Combine in Indianapolis. Today, the defensive lineman at the podium. Here's a mashup of some of their comments. You know, I think I have the, uh, the ability to play all over the defensive line. Um, as you know, last year I've played defensive tackle. Um, and then this year I played a little bit more defensive end. Um, you know, but I believe I bring everything in term to the table. Um, in, turn, in terms of playing the run and playing the pass. Um, and I, uh, I'll play wherever um, a coach needs me to play. Yeah, I was happy um, with the rotation um, and the organization that we had. Um, I put full trust in Coach Parker and Coach Bell um, and putting us out there. And uh, again, like I mentioned, every time I step on the field, um, it was just another opportunity to go play the game I love and uh, just another opportunity to prove myself. Um, Darnell, Darnell Wright, uh, definitely. Um, since I got to Tennessee, uh, I feel like I've grown because of him. He's athletic. Um, he definitely wasn't going to give me no reps. So uh, going against him every day and going back and forth made he, me, me and him you know, better, you know, just doing that every day on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, definitely got him in the position he is today and me. Uh, I feel like we set a, a great culture, and, you know, it's a new standard there. Um, it's in great hands. You got a lot of great players that want to win. Um, so, I, you know, I can't wait to see what they do this year. Yeah, I mean, it's a dream come true uh, to be here at the Kama. I've been playing football since I was five years old. So uh, just to be out here with, you know, all the talent and, and seeing all, you know, these NFL teams out here is, is just a dream come true. Yeah, I mean, you know, football was my escape through through a lot of things. Having, um, you know, my teammates, my family, coaches, a lot of support all around me uh, was, was definitely crucial during that time. Um, and, and, you know, just it, it motivated me just to, to, you know, push through and, and continue to go. Yeah, um, you know, uh, coming in as a young player, I think your first responsibility is just to establish yourself and, and earn the respect of your teammates and your coaches. And that, that just comes through your work ethic and, and how you perform. So, you know, that, that'd be my first step. That I'm a, I'm a great worker and I'm passionate about football. Uh, and I'm going to take the organization to another level. Coach Tim DeRuta, uh, he develops some uh, Kayvon Thibodeau and Von Miller. And, you know, I, I got to play on the edge and play a little loose. And I, I knew... I knew what I was able to do, and you know I put in the work and watched a lot of film and critique my craft, and now I'm here. Oh, for sure, I can learn a lot from him, and I can learn a lot from uh, players that are already there. I feel like that's uh, a huge thing too—not just to uh, um, just come up there and just be the only pass rusher, but having veterans that are there that have been in that position, had success already. That's—I feel like that's another key for uh, for me being a great pass rusher and, and the next level. Uh, you're going to get a kind-hearted player. You're going to get a player that's very competitive. You're going to get a player that has high energy and uh, has a great motor uh, every, almost every snap. So um, that's basically what player you, you're going to get from me. Really, I just I play within the scheme of our defense, you know, and that's what you learn playing with the scheme and just really try to, you know, do, don't do too much, you know, play your ball and be yourself. That's what Coach Smart taught us. Um, I'm an explosive guy. I got a good first step and um, I really love ball. I've been playing it since I was four and I just really watch Von Miller and see how he does things. He's like poetry in motion to me. You know, that's one of the best pass rushers in the game right now. Still, even though his knee's injured, I don't care what no one says. As a tight end, you almost have to be a second quarterback. So, you know, route concepts and, you know, blocking schemes. And so taking that and going to defense, one, it made defense seem way easier because all the defense seems like after playing tight end is go right, go left, go straight. Um, but it just made you understand how they wanted to block you and things that they didn't want to do, I want you to do, and I just did those. And that really showed when I went to a uh, defensive end at Old Dominion. For sure, just being the person that you are. Like, don't listen to what everybody says you need to do or what the scouts want to see. The scouts see what they're going to see, and I'm just going to be me and let them evaluate it from there. Or if it's the office lineman stance, is going to, you know, tell me run or pass. The backfield said if it's, you know, where the running back is, you know, run left, run right, or anything screen, anything that's going to, anything that's a giveaway, I'm going to be, a, I'm going to be a communicator on the field. Um, a guy that's going to be a day in, day out guy. Uh, game rep mentality when it comes to practice. Oh, yeah, as a leader, because since I was named captain, I feel like my leadership role was pretty much brought up to a bigger level but the biggest difference from their two defenses wasn't like major because with coach freeman i was dropping a little bit more but like coach golden i was just rushing a little bit more coach gordon wanted me to get to the quarterback and coach freeman wanted me to drop the skies a little bit more for the offensive tackles so that was like the biggest difference i don't i don't hate coverages at all i like dropping in i like dropping to the zone coverage going against man covering a slide or covering a tight end running back but i like covering a lot you get a chance to get a pick